Well, this is the video we've been promising. After our four-week trip across country, using, for the most part, Amtrak's USA Rail Pass, we had a good time. We want to share with you some of the things we, we felt we did right and some things we might do differently next time. Yeah, we overall we enjoyed the trip. It was um, it was a lot of fun. It was great to get away, and uh, we saw some spectacular scenery. Uh, we had some other excursions and visited uh, cities we had either hadn't been to or hadn't been to in a long while. So um, and it was so it was an enjoyable trip, and um, with a couple of exceptions, we would we would do we would do it again. There's we we have some caveats that we'll share. So. Yep. Yeah, one, one of the things in general, though, to, to be able to go 10, 10 segments on a train, I mean, that's where you get on the train to where you get off the train for a maximum, you can often find it on sale, but a maximum of $499. You can't beat it to go all the way across country and, and back. Yes. It's a tremendous <laughs> bargain and a great way to see things. Yeah. We... Um, the the nights in coach we knew ahead of time we're going to be harder we're getting older you know creakier <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but we planned for that we took uh, we took knowing that knowing it would be a little bit harder to sleep over overnight on the coach we always had nights in a hotel um, two nights actually on um, at least after each overnight on the coach right so so we never in coach did more than a, a single night with a <laughs> nice, comfortable hotel room to, <laughs> yeah, to be so. sure we could catch up. But it also gave us the opportunity to tour right. that destination. <clears throat> yeah, and some destinations we had specific plans. This is where we want to be. We want to do this particular thing. And others, we just, it was just the stopping point, And we just explored what was around us and, and enjoyed both both of those uh, yeah. excursions. If, if you go to do that, though, be, be sure you do some checking of the Amtrak station ahead of time. Because if... All of a sudden, you said, "Oh, I'm just going to go to La, La Plata, Missouri," <laughs> <laughs> and you got off the train. There's not much there. <laughs> there is a ho there is there's a, a hotel. hotel. I think they will come pick you up. Yeah, it's not it's not but, within. You can't see it, but it's it's not too far away. But you, you got to know what you're you're headed into. So. Right. Versus, you know, things like uh, you know San Francisco or in L.A. or San Antonio. <laughs> hey, there's always going to be plenty to do. So you, you got to plan a little bit. Right. I think that we pride ourselves on is we bought the same time we bought the passes we also booked all of our segments so we, we knew we could pull this trip off it also gave us the advantage because the trip actually took us a little bit more than 10 segments I think it's about 13 segments and we quickly looked at the cost of the segments without the pass and, and paid for the cheapest ones right so we laid out the trip you know, as if we were going to pay for it, so we would know those costs. And also, check, we also learned some things we weren't aware of, like the Sunset Limited only runs every other day, you know, so, you know, so it's like, oh, we can't do this on a Monday, we have to do it on a Tuesday. So, uh, laying the whole thing out, getting the pricing so we had some idea of which ones were the more valuable segments uh, allowed us to, to book it. Uh, we bought the pass, booked it, and, and had it all set. But... We did make changes. So. Yeah, and and don't worry about making changes, because any time we made a change, it was it was very easy to do. But it was nice to know that most of the route mm -hmm. was already in place, so we wouldn't end up on the west coast and not have the seat coming back to the east coast. <laughs> right. Yes. So I mean, I guess that could happen if a train disappeared, but we're not talking about those kind of uh, problems. But um, we also planned some things in detail, and some things we left very loose. Like when we we knew we wanted to do Pikes Peak Railroad, so we made a very specific plan around you know how many days we'd spend there, which day we'd probably take the train, uh, and then the Grand Canyon Railway, the same thing. We were very specific. We actually booked that excursion train um, before we left, so we booked a lot of things in advance, but not a lot. Things that were important, things that we had a had that destination in mind. We knew that was what we wanted to do. And then we left a lot of things kind of loose um, because trains 
can, things can go wrong. Trains can get canceled. You can miss connections. So we didn't want to have too many things we had to undo. Right. And uh, I think one of the benefits we had, and I don't have anything to compare it to, for the most part, we were traveling off-season. So anytime we went somewhere, if we didn't have a hotel room booked, there, there wasn't really a concern that we wouldn't get one. Uh, also, the, the same thing is probably true with the Grand Canyon Railway uh, and the Pikes Peak Railway. They were still selling tickets. That uh, afternoon, the, the, yeah, or that whatever, day. Or, or that day. Yes, it was. Um, it, we were not the. <laughs> we were not sitting on board uh, with no seats available. Yeah. but we did book them ahead of time because they were a key component of our trip. Right. And that was something we were. That was kind of why we were stopping there. You know, so we wanted to make sure that piece of it came together. But, uh, but on our way to, like, for instance, Emeryville, we were booking that hotel on the train a few hours before we arrived. And um, of course, I booked the wrong hotel, but <laughs> that was a different, another problem, but it all worked out. Uh, but it, it, we knew that there was a tight connection coming in on the Southwest Chief into LA to meet the Coast Starlight. We only had two hours, and that's a cross-country train. Things can go could get really late, and so we didn't want to book a night at Emeryville if we couldn't make the Coast Starlight. Yeah, yeah. You might recall on the Southwest Chief, one of our stops, we came into Flagstaff three hours late. Right. If that had been three hours late into LA, yeah, we, we would have missed it. Yeah, we would have missed. Right. Yeah. And and unfortunately, we I learned after the fact that uh, one of the Southwest Chiefs that was coming westbound um, was actually stopped in I think Albuquerque because of a, a freight train had a spill and it closed down the track so those those people didn't make it to LA and if that had been us you know we obviously would have made the Coast Starlight we'd have to rethink our plans. Yeah. Yeah, well, one of the things we did too is whenever possible we would use the Amtrak bus. You know if you if you're on Greyhound and it's going to leave at 10 it's going to leave at 10 right. but if you're on Amtrak and the train is two hours late, it's going to, the bus is going to wait for you. Um, a very good communication between, um, the, between um, the, your tickets and the Amtrak buses. I mean, they actually know your name and, that, that uh, these and the, your phone yeah, number. Right. They'll give you a call and see where you are. Mm -hmm. So, um, Yeah, so when we were three hours late into Flagstaff, there was still a, a bus waiting for us to take us to Williams. Uh, which <laughs> we were very grateful because we didn't we didn't know what would happen if we walked up and there was no bus there. So. And he was looking for us. He knew he knew he had uh, I think it was four passengers and was looking to right. to see if we were one of the or a couple of the four. We also had some flexibility because we packed without checking our, our we packed it with the intention that we would not check our luggage. So we had luggage that we could carry with us and and just we. we that helped us uh, get off early. We got off early in La Junta because we saw an opportunity to get to Manitou yeah. Springs faster. Uh, we also, uh, there's some places where you can't check luggage. La Plata doesn't have a way to check luggage. So uh, it just gave us a lot more flexibility in our travels. Yeah, and, and we had two, two backpacks each and we had, um, you know, a fair sized rolling duffel. duffel. Yeah. And never once had an issue with having space to store it. Right, right. Um, the uh, the the other thing that that helped us kind of keep track of our trip uh, using the app was really handy. The the USA Rail Pass tickets are all laid out one after the other in the app. Uh, you just you can see them all all there. Um, and in the cases where we booked, you know, we paid for tickets. Those are also there as well. Yeah. The, yeah. The one the one thing to be aware of though is the tickets you paid for are in one section of the app it, and it has a USA Rail Pass, you have to click on that USA Rail Pass in order to see those other segments. Yeah. Uh, uh, one thing would be nice for Amtrak to do is actually have all your segments in order visible. Yeah, that was, <clears throat> that was different. Since we booked all the paid for things on his, on his uh, app, I didn't see that yeah. discrepancy, but yeah, that would be handy. Um, I think we also uh, benefited from having taken last year um, our long trip and taking advantage of, of some incentives um, with the Amtrak card because uh, we actually were able to take a whole roomette segment um, 
for free, but, but, uh, but more importantly, actually, it gave us access to all the lounges, and the lounges make uh, those layovers in the, in the bigger stations so much more pleasant. And they have snacks. Right. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> but, but the credit card we signed up for alone, we got their higher level credit card, uh, basically cost $100. And it gave us points we used to get the roomette all the way from LA to San Antonio. Right. And we still have points left over from that. Right. Tremendous bargain. Yeah. And then when you use that credit card on the train, you get a 20% discount. Yeah. It's, yeah. And we used that, uh, we, used, we did buy uh, meals in the cafe car, but when we were staying a whole day on the train, uh, the dining car, we'd, we'd go and eat lunch in the dining car. Um, <clears throat> the, the dining car lunch is a, is a good lunch. Mm -hmm. It's 25 bucks, but actually with our car, 20% discount, yeah. it's, only, it's only 20 bucks. And you get to meet and interact with some of the other passengers on the train. Yeah, and um, yeah, different seating, different view. I, it, was, it was very nice to have that break um, and, and enjoy a good meal with, uh, with some people you haven't met before. Yeah, the, the dinners are a little pricier, 45 bucks, so we, we did not take in the dinners. Yeah. Oh, the other thing that we, we did, uh, we kind of took for granted because, because it was always there, but uh, as soon as we got on board the train, we plugged in our little multi-charger. We have a cube that has USB <laughs> and AC ports, or plugs in. USB-A, USB-C, yeah. AC ports, tremendous thing yeah. to have. Yep. Yeah, we just, we'd plug in our devices or whatever, and, and so we were never worried about, oh, I'm going to run out. Um, so that was, and it was convenient because the long cord made it easier for both of us to plug in. So. Right. You do tend to have internet mm -hmm. and phone most places. However, when you get into the back country, the trains and the mountains, you, you might lose it for a little while. Um, and there were some, there, there were some opportunities of things that we could have, you know, looking back on it, that we would do differently or that we might, might change if we did so, the trip again. Yeah, some things are pretty small. <laughs> We went to go to the shower and discovered, <laughs> oh, we didn't bring our shower shoes this time. Yeah, so that made, <laughs> we, that made it a little bit trickier. <laughs> we, we, we did, to be careful, we, we had brought some Lysol wipes so we could go ahead and, and wipe the shower yeah. floor before we got into it. But yeah. um, the, Should have brought the, those shoes. Yeah, the little shoes help you in the middle of the night if you need to go down to the restroom or when you actually want to go take a shower. And they don't take up very much weight. Yeah. We, we had just forgot it. Yeah. I don't think we'll forget next time. <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, and I, I think, you know, if we if we were to do it again, I think we wouldn't have quite so many overnights. Uh, I, again, I think we're just we're getting older and it's just, it is, uh, you know, your neck, crick in the neck or whatever. It just, it, it gets uh, a, it gets a long, long time for us to, uh, yeah. to have and, the overnights. Yeah, and you're really talking overnights in coach. In coach, yeah, yeah. in coach, yeah. I mean, we, we did, we did the, the nights in the hotel and actually we were very rested after after each, you know, after each coach trip, we were. Yeah. Well, one of the things to be aware of is coach for the Western trains. It, coach always has um, night, nighttime hours from 10 o'clock until 7. Where they're not going to make any announcements. They tell folks not to make much noise. Some folks, oh, many folks respect it, yeah, not, yeah. not everyone. Yeah. Um, and they turn a lot of the lights off. And the Western trains, it's, it's blue lights left. Right. It's actually easy to, to sleep it in feels, that light. It feels dark, uh, even though you have enough yeah. light to get up and go to the bathroom. The West whatever. Coast trains, on the other hand, it's white light. And we had taken a seat only a couple back from the front of the car. <laughs> and it yeah. felt like a spotlight on you all, yeah, all the, night long. The East Coast trains, yeah, I have white lights. And they, they uh, and in this case, we were... There's a spotlight or a, or a, a non-dimmed light that's right by the door that passes through to the other car, and and that was really hard to sleep with. Um, I, and it, I made a note to myself as I do this again, I'm going to have a mask uh, so I, you know, I don't have to, to worry about what the lighting is here because it's uh, it's so bright. Um, and then it, it depends. I, we had a lot of coach uh, nights on the train where people were very respectful. It was very quiet. Um, but we had a couple where people just didn't have the headphones or didn't, uh, you know, had their conversations going on. And it was harder to, to silence that. If that bothers you, you might want to consider earplugs. Um, 
And one time I spoke to the conductor and the, the person uh, stopped their device and it was quiet. We mainly did the Coast Starlight Run because we wanted to see the coast. And, um, and we didn't know enough about you know, where the route ran and how it got, you know, what points it was close to the coast. And, um, and our discovery is probably that you could, you could stop well short of Emeryville and still have a full uh, day of seeing, or, or most of the day of seeing the coast out of LA um, and then turn around. If, if, that was, if that was your primary objective, you could turn around much earlier. We enjoyed going to San Francisco, but um, But, but, but it was to. two, two long days from LA to, to Emeryville <laughs> and, and, and then back. Yeah. And it really doesn't have to be that way in, in yeah. order to see the coast. You could stop much yeah. much shorter there. And we also uh, I mentioned in, in, our San, in our video about San Francisco that we, we could have uh, taken the Amtrak uh, transit to San Francisco and stayed there instead of Emeryville and then, you know, right there where we wanted to tour. Uh, or we could have uh, got spent the night, Oakland. we could have got off at Oakland and um, then, then the hotels are, are, you know, short distance away from the train at that point. Yeah. And, and less expensive. And less expensive, yeah. So, so yeah. those were, those were things that we thought about afterwards, but, um, but we had already committed ourselves to going to Emeryville. So. For the trip, uh, we we would do we certainly are, are loving taking the, the train I, you know i don't know where our next amtrak train will trip will take us but um but um we keep looking for opportunities to do do something like yeah. that again so. okay. and we would we would encourage you because you're probably not watching this video if you're not a, fa a fan of amtrak or considering and for, or, or it might be hey mom hey <laughs> our daughter and son you might be watching it for that reason but uh we would encourage you to, to get out, give it a try. Um, and yeah, consider that USA Rail Pass. It's, it's a real bargain to, to get out to 10 different segments and uh, see, see some of this great country.